Howdy guys, it's Nintendo Capri Sound here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Majora's Mask, and we are on the final day at Milk Road, which is the, uh, sort of the segue to Romani Ranch. I find it interesting that the map kind of looks like a kitty drawing of a horse. <laughs> and the carpenter's here, his work is done. I opened the way. Yeah, and on the final day you'll notice that sometimes the earth shakes, so that's actually, that's the moon. Yeah, it's coming into contact with the world that's affecting things already here. Romani Ranch. So this is the first you'll see of this place. It's quite uh, dreary. You see a nice overcast sort of vibe going on here. I'm just gonna kinda take my time walking over here because I can't savor the lovely atmosphere of this place enough. I really can't. Anyway, uh oh. We got a cutscene coming up. L look! Look at what? Isn't that your horse? I love this right here. Link is like all happy. Yeah! Well, you couldn't see it because the sun was in your eyes. Yeah. He just walks right past the girl like, oh, how rude. Yeah, you can't do anything with the with the horse right now. You can't talk to it. Of course, most people can't talk to horses, but... Oh, no. She seems troubled. Huh? You... Who, who are you again? And, uh, she's out of your notebook. She needs help. Big time. And so does her, uh, sister, her big sister, who you may recognize. So we got, like, Little Milan and Big Milan now all of a sudden in the same game. This is weird. Oh, I'm sorry. Right now I'm thinking a little. My little sister, she, she... What, what shall we do? Our precious cows. I thought I would come to this then. What Romani said, I should've... Oh, no. I guess she didn't believe her. Her little sister knew something was gonna happen, but nothing happened. Well... Let me see if we can uh, get a shot of her face. She's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I think that caused me to have a dream one night, but I'm not going to talk about that. Um, No, it's, it wasn't like a nasty dream or anything, don't worry. But Because <laughs> I know that's what everybody's thinking. Oh, you had a wet dream about Milan. Oh my god, you're so nasty. Anyway, let's go over here. Now, there's actually like two heart pieces you can get here, and one of them, you have to have a lot of rupees to do it. And it's a lot of luck required to do it. Here's the Cuckoo Shack. This place kind of annoyed me for the longest time. I could not figure out what the hell you were supposed to do here. And the whole time I had the mask that I needed. What you need is the Bremen mask or Bremen mask, whatever. Well, we'll talk to him first to find out what's going on. He says, I heard it from my gramp. says the moon's going to fall. Something that big, sure, take the ranch down with it. Oh, oh well. Then he looks around with a spiky ass hair. Nice mohawk. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. So it's like, well, how do you make these guys grow up? I mean, you can't pass time much further than the third day, right? Well, you just put on this mask and notice the uh, command icon says March. So here we go. Oh, man. Just when you think Lincoln is crazy. Uh, well, uh, what's the word? I, I thought of the word instantly the other day. His charisma. You know, he was dancing, now all of a sudden he's marching. Did we get him? Yeah, we did. So we just have to walk around and gather all these cuckoos together. This can take a while. So especially if you like, you don't know where they are. So they'll be like in different spots every time. I want to make sure and cover the entire area here. You know, I want to make sure and comb the entire desert here. Comb the desert. Do you hear me? Comb the desert. Yes, sir. This is an unlisted wall. I'm sorry, sir. Okay. Well, we got four. There's ten in all, so we just have to... And don't let go of the button, or else you lose your march, and they stop following you, so... Make a little uh, U-turn here. Make sure there's no more back here. Nope. Chickens are following me all around. I don't know what to sing to this song, but it is catchy, that's all I know. That's a six. Huh. Fighting for my country, all tis of thee. I don't think that I'm going to sing anymore, because I'll just make an ass of myself. I was doing better when I was singing Up on the Roof. So that's only eight. So how didn't I pretty much 
Oh, these plants are so annoying. Did I not check behind this sign or something? They're probably like right out in front of him. And I just didn't check that area well enough. You can't let go of the button though. Wait, is there one back there? Can't tell. Sometimes that pixelation can be a little irksome. I probably just walked right by it. Sometimes, like, there, I can't see things on my TV that you can see on the video in the end, like around the edges. Yeah, I see them now. I see both of them. So, I don't know. Because I'm not looking, like, at my computer as I'm playing. There's the last one. Yay! Keep the button down until they've all grown up. And we'll march these roosters right back to him so he can see. I guess getting the exercise made him grow up. Oh, the earth shaking? That is so epic. As the roosters crowing and the earth shaking. I don't really get it. Just seeing these guys with a crest and all. I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this for me. We got the bunny hood! Yes! My, what long ears it has. The better to hear you with. These guys are all roosters. <laughs> and he gets added to the notebook as we refilled, or uh, fulfilled, his request. And the bunny hood is one of the more useful masks in the game, as it, well, you just take off the first mask before you change it. As you can put it on and run really fast. Yeah! Nice. Rolling actually will slow you down if you're using the bunny hood. Anyway, there's nothing we can do for Milan and her little sister here, so, and this is the dog racing game, but I don't have enough rupees for that right now. Well, you can actually bet rupees, and there's like ten dogs, and you bet a certain number of rupees of your choice on a certain dog, and if that dog wins, out of all ten of them, you get triple your rupees back, and if it gets, like, top five or something, or I think it's like if it gets second place, you win twice your rupees back, and if it gets third or fourth or fifth, you just get your rupees back. So it's hard. It's not a money-making game by any means, but but if you bet over 50 rupees and your dog gets first place, then you get a piece of heart. So that's why I'm saying there's another piece of heart there. So we'll do that later. So I'm not in the mood for that crap right now. We might have time to get one of these heart pieces out in the field. Uh, there's a couple of them hidden in holes, and you have to fight for them. So let me see if I can find it. There's a should be butterflies out here somewhere. I don't want to be hanging around this bird. It's a bad, bad bird. The bird is the bird. It's a bad, bad bird. The bird is the bird. Maybe it's over here, actually. I think it is. Well, maybe it's not. There's a... Oh, a plant. Well, maybe it isn't. Uh, that's, maybe the butterflies aren't here on the third day. I could have sworn there was a hole over here. Maybe, oh, there they are. I see them. Okay. It's somewhere in this general area. Should be able to find it eventually. There it is. <laughs> I was worried maybe with the bunny hood I was like running right over it or something. Anyway, the mask is not going to help us here. Thank God we'll get. Oh, we only got four hard pieces. Holy crap. This might be hard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. I need to lock on to you first. Alright, now. Uh, don't turn like that. This is kind of a pain in the ass. You could die really fast here, so. Just watch what you're doing. I just use regular swipes, because if you jump, there's a chance he might nick you with a spike, and you just get knocked back. That's really bad. So. These enemies were actually in Ocarina of Time, but I never showed them to you, because they're so pointless in that game. They show up in the overworld sporadically here and there, but there you go. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. So, there you go. Reach down in there and grab that heart piece, Link. You're awesome. Now, let's put back on the bunny hood and get out of here. Stop pushing the button two times in a row. You're crazy. Did that put me up to five heart containers? I sure hope so. Yeah, it did. Because we gotta fight Dodongos now. Because I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos! Alright. So let's head up north. Again. North. North to Alaska. We used to be this guy that sang karaoke. His name was Howie. And he was so fat. But he was a really good singer. He always sang all these old songs like Cab Driver. It's the song about stalking a girl named Mary. He's like, he loves this girl named Mary. And he's sitting in a cab outside her house just watching her. It's like, dude, if you're gonna do that, you should get your own car. Because you don't want no cab drivers knowing what you're doing. They'll be talking. They'll tell the whole town about it. There's the Dongos out here, too. And these are actually pretty good grinding enemies. Because they drop 50 rubies a pop if you can nail them. I don't have any bombs, do I? I have the bomb mask, but that's not gonna do a whole heck of a lot of good. You know, I'm just wearing a bunny hood. You know, a bunny hood might actually help against these guys. I don't know. But, uh, what you have to do is, uh, what you want to do is probably just hit their tail. But then put your shield up right away because they're gonna spin around and try to hit you. Uh, shit. Well, this is not going very well so far. Maybe I need to lock on. Yeah. You probably don't want to lock on because that slows you down. Plus, you got the other one breathing fire on you on the first one. 
Okay, that's close. <laughs> he probably is a jump attack being more effective, I don't know. Yeah, I don't wanna- Oh, well, maybe. Man, I am way up against the wall here, and this is like really unnerving. Man, I can't get behind him from here. Uh, okay, well you just breathe more fire or do something, I don't know. Breathe more fire, stop! Stop, stop, stop! I'm chasing around here! Hey, 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 we're running out of time in the video here! Alright, well, I guess you gotta be in front of him to make him breathe the fire, duh! Alright. Yeah, this is definitely a fast forward moment, I think. We're, we're almost out of time. In fact, I don't even want to look over there and see what time it says. I don't want to know. <laughs> Alright. Back around here. And just repeat, rinse and repeat, pretty much. Yeah, you can also use bombs to fight these guys, which is pretty much how you normally fight it on goes. But, you know, in these games, it's, they like to change it up. <laughs> so. And a piece of art is definitely a worthy prize, so there we go. No problemo. So, in the next video, did I even pick up the rupees that the first one dropped? I didn't. My stupid ass didn't pick up those rupees, man. Yeah, well, in the next video, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. So, I'm gonna go get my piece of heart, and then I'll say bye. I don't want to say bye before I pick up my piece of heart. That just wouldn't be proper. You got a piece of heart. Went to look so cute holding up that piece of heart with those bunny ears on. Oh my god. Okay, I'll see you guys later.